by the way guys all the guys and girls out there that do tutorial videos Lev, girl painting um, you know cat, catfish <laughs> I take my hat off to you this is uh, this is not easy anyways I'm just going to go all the way around here let me show you what I mean we're going to do a little bit up here we re-hit this shoulder pad there we go that's better I think you can pretty much make out what I am trying to do here. Let me bring the light over a bit more. There we go. Zoom a bit. There you go. Do apologise if this is coming across newbish, amateurish, because you want to know something? Yes, I am a noob, <laughs> I am an amateur, and for that, I apologise. Models going all over the shop here. There you go. It's a bit of a bummer because it's not actually showing up. Right then guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward, I'm going to paint this model up, and with any luck, the, uh, the next step <laughs> of this technique um, is going to show up a little bit better, and, you know, I'll actually go get my point across. Okay guys? Okay then guys, as you can tell, um, my epic fail attempt has now been rectified and the entire mini has now been painted. <clears throat> for, for this step, to basically uh, push it, you know, to try and demonstrate it even better, what I, I have done is I have actually painted the entire shoulder pad okay then so what we're going to do on this step is basically come back in with this wash and basically hit in between all the plates basically where we were we were leaving a gap Now the thing about washes is you can stack them, um, you know, as layers build up, the uh, the intensity of the pigment will will build and become even more apparent. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the bottom of the shoulder pad. Actually we're going to hit the entire shoulder pad. Okay. We're going to come over here. Do the same. This is a brush I picked up whilst whilst I was shopping um, and getting me other brushes. It's a Winsor and Newton uh, 303 type, and the best way I can describe this is um, it's a pinstriping brush. Um, Painters use them in automotive painting, um, sign painting, and now I'm using it in miniature painting. Um, it's the same uh, bristle, you know, bristle density of uh, a detail brush or or even a GW standard brush. And basically what I'm doing is I'm loading up the entire bristles a bit like a pen so it holds more ink and I'm going to start hitting all the areas that in the previous step the gaps we were leaving this is just to cover up any mistakes and believe me, doing this tutorial, <laughs> I've made a few. Now, as you can tell, we, we've, we're coming back to the shoulder pad. And we're just building up the layers. We're going to run a bead of wash all the way around the edges. We're going to go down there, the bottom of the thigh connecting to the knee joint, so we're going to put a layer there. This will make the knee pad stand out against the upper thigh. I'm going to run a bead around the knee pad to also make it stand out against the the graves or your shins. And we're basically just going to hit certain spots where the plates meet. Fingers is always a good one to hit. And we're basically going to hit the bottom of the knee pad as well. Inside the back of the foot. I'm going to hit back of the knee again and what we're doing is we just want to build up the pigment 